me, uh, before I start about what we've just seen here at Educare, I just came from uh, Fisk School. Uh, I was there, uh, Alderman, with our colleague, uh, Alderman Cochran. They have started their longer school day, so I wanted to see firsthand. I went to a seventh grade algebra class and a eighth grade uh, history class. And as uh, JC, we were just talking uh, earlier about this, uh, they have 30 more minutes every day now of math, 30 more, more minutes more of science, and 30 more minutes of reading, and they also get recess. And the teachers actually get a lunch break. Everything that did not exist before, but I want that to be added up. That's two and a half hours more every week of reading, right, reading, and of science. All for the kids. And I talked to the teachers, the children, the principal, and saw firsthand, again, what the decisions we made that were, in my view, while there was a lot of political questions about it, there were never questions about the educational importance of it. Now, I did ask this group to convene during the transition, not because there is a race to the top, although that's good. And when Arnie Duncan was here, I mentioned I wanted to make sure that Illinois and Chicago was prepared for this race to the top and that we win and succeed. I was joking with uh, Diana and uh, uh, Alderman Pat Dowell earlier. While I come to this here as a uh, mayor, my education as it relates to early childhood education begins as a son of a pediatrician. Uh, and watching my father up close uh, as a pediatrician and his own instruction to young parents who are having children and the importance that uh, he is a father, but also most importantly as a pediatrician, put on early childhood education. Now, I also have a little history with this subject based on, uh, in fact, uh, dealing with the helter-skelter approach that we have across our system. And the system is not set up to serve the kids. It's confusing. It's confusing to parents. It's not focused on the priority of early childhood education. And what I mean by that, what happens at CPS early childhood, what happens at Head Start, what happens at some of the daycare, really is not focused on what it should be focused on. And each of them are different. <coughs> each of them are have different, not only standards, some just get certified and then move on. I wanted to change that and make sure that the city of Chicago was following other cities and states. The truth is, one of the leaders in the country on early childhood education, the state of Oklahoma. They are one of the best as it relates to not only resources, but standards. Now, we have made a decision. JC did it, and the school board did it early on. 6,000 more children in the city of Chicago are getting full-time kindergarten education. We added 6,000 more kids. I say that by way of, so everybody understands, the state of Florida <coughs> cut their budget by 7,000, or 7% rather, $30 million. New York State cut their budget, affecting 6,000 kids, 16,000 kids, uh, mostly in the low-income low area. The city of Chicago added 6,000 children. We made cuts, but we added children. Cuts to the central office, but added children. And that children in the pre-K and rather kindergarten full day program. That's by remembering what the priorities are. And while I'm proud of the longer school day we are beginning to have throughout the school system, I'm most proud about the investment we're also now making in our children at the early stages of life. Now, what is the goal here? And what is it what the board has recommended, which we will now implement? Throughout the system, you will have an educational standard, whether it's a daycare system, Head Start, or CPS administered. And you're the systems at every op and every entity, whether it's Educare, whether it's at our schools, whether it's at Head Start, whether it's at a daycare facility, will have a rating based on how they are doing towards achieving education. Second, that rating system, knowing how they're good they are, will be available to parents through technology and through basically a portal uh, so they can see the, rate, the star rating system and they can know how their entity that they're enrolling their child is rated and graded 
on achieving educational goals set for those children. The resources we get, and especially if we get this race to the top for the state of Illinois, will go towards those entities that are succeeding, like Educare. We won't try to just pummel, put more money into systems that are, are actually programs that are failing, but we are going to reward ones that are succeeding and then make sure that the other ones start to model themselves after successful programs. No other city, to my knowledge, is not only adding kids, but having a comprehensive educational quality standard for its early childhood education. And then making the information not only available to parents, but also the rating system available so when you're choosing to enroll your child, whether that's in a Head Start, CPS, or another daycare facility, you know how they rate in achieving their educational goals. And that will be uniform throughout the system, which has not existed to date. And what we have had to date is you get certified, and that was the last time we really cared. And it's wrong. Now, the education of a child begins, most importantly, obviously, at these early stages in, of life and early achievements. It's important also, obviously, as Diana noted, parents being educated themselves to the importance of their role in a child's early stages of life. And they become as an ancillary, not the main benefit. The ancillary benefit is they also become advocates the rest of the, uh, the child's life for educational needs and opportunities for their children. And then just having talked to two parents out there who were talking about their own children who were enrolled in the University of Chicago charter system, which this system has a program basically a link up with can see the advocacy that those parents have. They're here looking at their, uh, one, the one parent was looking at their younger child, and they have two enrolled at the University of Chicago Donahue program in third grade, and they're there for the ISAT uh, uh, practices today, even though the school's out. So transparency, accountability, and educational uniform standards throughout our early childhood education. I am immensely impressed with what EduCare has. It's clearly the gold standard. We have it for buildings, i.e. the gold lead standard. We can at least have it for education for our children. And while Arnie Duncan was here just a couple weeks ago, I do think the state of Illinois, and specifically Chicago, should be put in place so we will win this time in the race to the top for our children because we're doing right by them and making the right choices. While other states have cut back, the city of Chicago is doubling down on our children. That's the responsibility we have as adults, whether we're in the public service area or in the private sector, focused on our children. And I think this is an exciting time in education here in the city of Chicago. Everything from what's going on at Fisk to what's going on here at EduCare. And I'm glad the city of Chicago is showing the way for a new type of commitment to education.